Yeah, so um, it's quite extraordinary, actually. The Bank of England, England has basically stepped in because of panic in the markets and to avoid a full-blown financial crisis. Uh, what we saw was the selling off of government bonds, which are usually very safe, and usually uh, there's a lot of demand for them. But as they were being sold off, the value of them fall, and then the UK's cost of borrowing was rising to record highs. And this is why the Bank of England had to step in to buy up government bonds to bring down that cost of borrowing. Um, and all of this really is in reaction to last Friday's budget, which was seen as sort of economically irresponsible to borrow money as much as 45, um, to borrow money, sorry, to dish out 45 billion in tax cuts, um, which would overwhelmingly benefit the rich. Um, and there's no evidence that this could lead to growth, as argued by the Chancellor. So this is why there's been a lot of panic in the markets. Well, the International Monetary Fund has um, commented, of course, that was being reported, that it would suggesting it would this these tax cuts would likely increase inequality in terms of in. Well, actually, in real terms, Denisha, what does this mean? The fact that the Bank of England stepped in, um, are things going to be better? Are things going to settle for a while? Um, it's, it's hard to tell. It's very unlikely. What we have is um, basically fiscal and monetary policy pulling in different directions. And that means the Treasury and the Bank of England are not working together. They're going in different directions while we have multiple crises going on and we need them to work together to bring down all these inflationary pressures. So, um, as you said, the IMF said the budget would increase inequality, but it would also increase inflationary pressures, which were already very high. As we know, inflation was 9.9%. We it's now predicted to go much higher, 